What's up guys, this is Nick from Art Study Poker, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be reviewing Ignition and America's Card Room, both of the online sites that American players can play on. I think there's a few other sites still running possibly, but these are the only two that I've ever played on, so these are the only two websites that I'm going to review. They are also the most popular sites to play on uh, within the continental U.S., I believe. So as far as... I'm not going to get into le the legality of online poker in the United States. I, what I can tell you guys right off the bat is that online poker in the United States sucks right now. It sucks a lot. It should be legal, but it is not, at least you know federally. And I don't know which states you technically are not allowed to play in. I know that the state constitution for a lot of states, how it's written up, it's very gray, and there's nothing in a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of state constitutions that say that you can't play online poker or gamble online. So I said I wasn't going to get into the legality, but you might have needed a little background if you had a question on that, because I've had a couple guys ask me what states you can and can't play in, and I don't know for sure. And I could probably have looked that up, but, you know, you guys can look that up as easily as I can. So I'm just here to try to give you my best opinions on uh, the action on the site and, and what is better on one site, what's better on the other maybe and uh, talk about that. And so let's get into Ignition, formerly known as Bavada real quick. Anonymous tables, you don't have screen names or anything, you're just a number, a seat number basically, so you don't know anybody you're playing with. The action is decent, it is quite soft from what I remember uh, in the No Limit and PLO games, like low stakes, mid stakes. I didn't dabble too much in the high stakes um, on that site, and that's mainly because I do not prefer to put a lot of money onto any of these untracked, uh, you know, not regulated sites. I, I just, that's my personal preference. I don't trust them as much, so I tend to load small amounts and try to build them up by playing through low stakes games and, and some mid stakes games, but anyway, the action was uh, pretty decent when I used to play on there. I just stopped playing on there recently. The uh, tournament scene on there was very soft again. There were some pretty decent tournament structures, especially on the weekends. I think Saturdays and Sundays had some pretty good tournaments. So, you know, if you're looking to just kind of mess around and you have a little bit of money and you just want to get more experience by playing, if you want to get experience playing shorthanded games, playing especially PLO, if your room, you know, let's say you guys play in a live home game or a club or a casino where you live and you know PLO is not spread like No Limit is, then you can get a lot of practice playing some PLO online. And so I uh, I would say that Ignition has a pretty good reputation for the most part. I think when I used to be on what was formerly Bavada, the customer service was always pretty darn good. I never had an issue with them. I as far as depositing money, I mean I had that account set up so long ago that I'm not sure if I was grandfathered in or if my bank just didn't care that I was putting uh, or I was using my debit card to make these purchases when you're depositing money onto these sites. But I was able to just go through my bank. For a lot of you guys, you'll probably, from what I hear these days, you'll probably have to go through a few hoops and uh, probably get in touch with your fraud department and let them know that it is in fact you trying to make these quote, purchases or whatever, which is your deposit onto uh, Ignition. So I think as far as depositing, it, it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but once you get the money on the first time, I think it's usually pretty easy after that if you need to make another deposit. Withdrawing, I never had an issue with them. I They used to have a direct deposit uh, function, I guess, or you know the ability to do that, but I don't think they do that anymore. I think you either can get checks or use Bitcoin, which I'll get into with America's Card Room. I know a lot of guys are using Bitcoin these days, but, you know, overall, I would say the site is, it has soft, decent action. If you're looking to just get more experience and you're not trying to make a lot of money or anything, or you're just playing more for fun, but you want to play for money, then I would, you know, I would say it's safe and I would suggest, you know, loading that up and, and playing every now and then probably. As far as America's card room goes, it was uh, pretty. Is it was a little difficult to get money on, to be honest. And their customer service is decent. 
I think. I, I've read a lot of guys that have had a lot of issues with their customer service team or whatever, but uh, I definitely had to contact the fraud department as far as my bank goes and, and let them know. And it took a few times, a few <laughs> attempts and, and efforts to try to get money on there. Once I got money on the first time, finally, never have had an issue since. I have yet to withdraw from that site, but from what I understand, it's much easier than depositing. So uh, sorry, I can't let you guys know about that, but I haven't withdrawn yet. So I've just been trying to build up the small bankroll that I started with. Also, I think Bitcoin is pretty popular with ACR. I think a lot of guys are using Bitcoin as, as currency. Also, player to player transfers. A lot of players use that where if you know somebody else that plays on there and you can give them money or get money from them in person and, and transfer you know, the money on uh, ACR, then you can do that. But enough with the deposit and the withdrawal. The actual action, I would not suggest ACR excuse me guys, to be honest, for no limit cash games. They are very nitty, very reg populated. You have actually a username or screen name on this site so you see what players you're playing with. And it's a lot of regulars, a lot of multi-tabling regulars, especially seems like a lot of guys from over in like Eurasia and they actually tend to be decent players even at like the low stakes. They're, they're actually not that horrible. So the action's very tight. There is the highest games that I see running consistently are like 3-6, and not even that is going all the time. So not a huge player pool, not a lot of good action. If you are playing primarily for PLO or like No Limit Heads Up, which is what I primarily play, or if you play tournaments, from what I understand, I haven't entered one yet, and I probably should have, but... ACR has really good tournaments from, from what I gather, and they have a pretty good tournament structure. So if you like tournaments, then I think ACR is probably the way to go over Ignition. If you uh, if you do enjoy PLO, though, and No Limit Heads Up, I think ACR is probably a little bit better for that than Ignition. But if you do primarily want to play No Limit Ring games, whether it's six max or you know full ring, nine-handed games, Ignition's probably a little bit better, but the action's still not the greatest. So... I guess bottom line, guys, is unfortunately in this country right now, online poker is, I wouldn't say dead, but it's pretty close to that. And it's trying to make a comeback in each state, but we'll see how that goes. Like I said, if you guys are, what I would suggest is if you're looking to play, if you have a little bit of money to burn, you're trying to, you know, you can't drive to the casino all the time, you could get more hands in and have fun playing at home where the money doesn't really matter as much then yeah, you can load up one of these sites and I would suggest playing. You'll get a lot of hands in. To be honest, uh, there are, I think in general, a lot of the player pool, especially on ACR, is is more skilled. So it will force you to become a better player. But as far as making any real money or you know, looking for action or if you guys used to play on full tilt or stars where there was tons of action and, and tons of worse players in the pool, you're not really going to get a ton of that these days with these two sites. So I hope the review wasn't too somber, and I hope that, you know, if you guys are maybe a little excited to load those up and maybe play a little bit if you're looking to dabble. But, yeah, like I said, it's it's not the most promising uh, situation in the world as far as online poker in the U.S. goes. I would suggest keep playing live and studying your games and, and doing that. That'll be the best way to go for you guys. So, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, if you have anything to add as far as the review, if you guys play on ACR or if you play on Ignition, and you want to add something that I didn't mention, or if you disagree with me, if something's changed on Ignition that, uh, you know, from what I've said, I, like I said, I haven't played on there in probably a half a year or so. From what I understand, it's pretty much the same. But yeah, if you guys have anything you want to add as far as the actual review goes, please do and, and add to it. I'm not, uh, I, I don't consider myself an expert when it comes to these sites. I'm just reviewing them from my own personal experience for the, you know, the people that have asked me to. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Until next time, this is Nick from Arch City Poker. Take care.